patient safety issue is twofold. One is the safety of the patient when they're in the doctor's office, the procedure room, the operating room, the conduct of the procedure and what precautions are taken so that the appropriate operation is performed in a safe setting. Our focus really right now is on the qualifications of those individuals that are performing these cosmetic procedures, surgical operations, and the facilities where these procedures are being undertaken. I mean, to use an extreme example, injectables are so popular that there are such things as Botox parties that people are having in their own living rooms, usually alcohol is served, and then a physician or maybe even a non-physician injector comes in and injects these individuals. Now we all know that these are medical procedures. I feel very strongly that these should be performed in a medical setting. If you're in somebody's living room, and maybe not everyone has had a drink, but a few people have, somebody may faint at the sight of a needle. Are you prepared? Do you know how to revive them? Someone may have an extreme allergic reaction. Admittedly, it's rare. They have an extreme allergic reaction in your living room or even in your medispa or even in the beauty salon where some of these procedures are being undertaken. Are you able to revive them? Is a medical, is a uh, medispa, is a beauty spa, is the hair salon equipped with the professionals and the materials that are needed to revive someone that's having a life-threatening allergic reaction. So this is twofold, our concerns right now. The qualification of the individual, the background, the training, and the safety of the facility where the procedure, be it an injection or a six-hour operation. These are the two issues.